Hi, are you ready to kickstart your yoga practice? Well, if you've been sitting too long or lazing around too much, or just need a structured program to get you back into your yoga groove, then this series is for you. This is a kickstart program that has seven different practices. Yes, you can do seven different practices one day at a time, or just mix them all up. You'll find that they're easy, accessible, and guess what, they're fun. Hi, I'm Sherry Zach Morris, and I'm a certified yoga therapist, and I am the founder of Yoga Vista and I welcome you to this practice. It's a seven day challenge. Each class is about 15 to 25 minutes and we focus on lots of different themes. We'll focus on posture and balance and back care and movement and mobility and fun. This program is based on chair yoga. We will do poses that are sitting down. We'll do poses that are standing up. As always, you can pace yourself. You can stay seated the whole time. And when you're standing, you can hold on to the chair. That's the reason why we use a chair. It's our great companion to get us to be a little bit stronger. We are at the beautiful Rancho Guajome Adobe here in Southern California. Look at this beautiful environment. And every single one of these classes, we're gonna have a different location. So you'll have a beautiful tour of the Adobe as you work out with me. Always remember to check in with your doctor or your healthcare provider to make sure that these kind of practices are good for your health condition. As we age, we know that we need to take good care of ourselves, just like this adobe is so beautiful because it's been well taken care of. This series will help you do that. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful program I created for you here at the adobe, and I'll see you at the ranch. Namaste. 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 We'll see you at the ranch. Namaste. Hi, this is Sherry with a great big welcome. This chair yoga class is an open invitation to see what feels good in your body today. You might feel tired, you might feel achy, you might feel tight. We're gonna get into those places and just see if I can get you to feel a little bit better. Well, I'm here at the Rancho Guajome Adobe. It's a beautiful place in Vista, been here for many, many centuries. And this class actually is the very first class of the Kickstart Yoga series. So if this is the first class you came to, I hope that you check out the others in this series. It's all about just getting you up and going and getting back into your yoga groove again. We are at the opening gate of the Adobe, a place of welcoming, a place of openness, right? So today we are going to be working on lots of different things. A little bit of sprinkle of that and a little bit of sprinkle of this. So we'll be working on flexibility and balance and joint health, all of those things. And every class in the Kickstart program is dedicated to a particular part of your body to make sure we get an all around practice. I hope you enjoy this practice and always make sure to pace yourself, take breaks if you need to, don't do the things that don't serve you well. Always check with your doctor to make sure these kind of programs are good for your health. And are you ready to begin? Let's do this. So let's begin our practice by finding a comfortable seat. We probably do this in every single yoga class, and yes, we're doing it in this yoga class too. So feel free to scoot yourself back in your chair if you're not already scooted all the way back, and I want you to feel the support of the back of your chair. So try not to practice yoga without a back of your chair. You need to have that sometimes for stability, right? And a little bit of comfort and support. So find yourself nice and tall and erect. Maybe see if you can get those shoulders to be up and back and around a few times. Good. All right, as I said, this class is gonna be an exploration of lots of different parts of your body. We'll be just checking in and just seeing how you're feeling. I hope you feel better at the end. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to do a little bit of breathing. I know breathing is always kind of boring, but guess what? It's a very important thing. It's basically oxygen for your body and prana for your overall health. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the arms and go like this, inhale and exhale. Yeah, like their wings, inhale and exhale and inhale, and exhale. Good, a few more rounds, inhale, exhale, and inhale, and exhale. And then how about if you just float a little bit? Oh, does that feel good? Yeah, it gives you a little bit of softness to your body, yeah. We don't wanna be rigid and tight and achy in our bodies, we wanna feel soft. Very good, and then the hands come back to your laps and let's roll those shoulders again. All right, so let's look a little bit at our joint health. As we age, gravity plays a, a big role, right? We've been probably on this earth, this earth for many, many decades. So every year of our life, we are fighting with gravity. Gravity is that pull of pushing things down, right? That happens to our joints. So what we wanna do is always make sure that there's room in our joints, there's space in our joints. And we'll just start with the very important joints that we use every single day. That's our fingers. 
Yeah, we're going to be tractioning our fingers. When we talk about the word traction, it means opening up space in your joints. It means lengthening, opening, right? So take your hands nice and wide, and then we're going to pull each finger, starting with your pinky, a pull and a wiggle. Yeah, a pull and a wiggle, each one. And see if you can keep all the fingers straight. Now, some of you might get trigger finger. I actually had that for the first time a, a couple of weeks ago, and I was a, a little scared about that, right? I just keep on going with the other hand. And basically, it's when your tendons get a little stuck in position. And what we want to do is just make sure that we're always working on this, right? Strengthening and strengthening. I think I tended to get that because I was working on the computer a lot. And when you work on the computer, you do a lot of these kind of grippings, right? So everybody wide again. Yeah. Now open and close. Good. Yeah. So we want to have that feeling of closing, right, as a grip, and then we want to have a feeling of opening, right? So a couple like sparks like that, and a spark. Good. Good. And one more spark. All right, then shake it out a little bit. Okay, a little bit for the wrist. Just twirl it around a little bit. Good. And then I want you to take your hand like this and go this way and that way. Yeah, with your wrist. Yeah, like you're saying hi. Good. And then like this, like you're saying hi. And then a knuckle wave, which I really like. Good. And then the other side, work in the wrists, high this way, high this way, and then your knuckle wave. Good. All right, a little bit to the elbow. One hand in front, just tap your shoulder. Good. Tap your shoulder. I told you we were going to get into those joints. We're exploring. We're seeing what feels good and maybe what doesn't feel as good. Good. And then the other side. Yeah. All your joints are meant to move. We're working the hinge of this elbow, right? Yeah. And guess what? The hinge goes two ways. Yeah, it does. So it goes like this, too. Yeah. This is for throwing a Frisbee. <laughs> Good. And then the other side. Good. Now for your shoulders. Fingertips to your shoulders. And we're going to go round and around. Yeah. And they don't have to be big circles. They can just be small or they can get bigger and bigger. And if you hear some popping or clicking, that's kind of a normal thing. Sometimes it's a tendon and open and close, a tendon or a ligament kind of rubbing against a bone. Sometimes there's arthritis in there. Yeah, it's okay. We're just moving. We're lubricating. Good. Next time, you're going to go all the way out. Life force reach. I love this one. This one, if you're ever feeling down and you really want to have a little bit of spark of energy, just do this one. Walk around the house like this. Try to take your fingers nice and wide. Remember, we're tractioning. We're tractioning our elbow right now, aren't we? Yes. We're tractioning our shoulders. Yeah, and guess what? We're getting some strong tricep and bicep muscles. Now, we're going to take those fingertips up towards the sky. Push your palms away and smile. Yeah, you got to be smiling while you're doing these things. Good. And then fingertips down towards your ground. Good. And then roll the wrist backwards and roll the wrist forwards. Good. And then release. Very good. Now take the arms and just do a little crisscross. All right, let's move into our tractioning of our back. How do we do that? How do we open up our spine? One good way is to sit up nice and tall. Yeah, if you're slumping, everybody slump for a second. If you're slumping, you got to believe all those vertebras are kind of compact, right? We want to take that nice lift. Okay, so this is how we do this. A little trick I want to give to you, actually I learned from my friend Justine. We're pretending we're zipping up some very high-waisted pants. So we're down here and we're just going to zip it up and we're kind of like pulling ourselves up. Yeah, I call that the inner lift. And when you find yourself slumping, try to do that little zipper, the inner lift, and you find your posture is a little bit better. Guess what? Your spine is going to feel better because there's a little bit more space. Now take one arm up into a robot arm and then down and then the other arm. Good. And then we'll do both arms. Good. And then we're going to take one high. Good. And the other one high. And let's do both. Here we go. Up we go. Oh, yeah. Nice tall spine. Very good. Take your hands together in prayer and then bring them all the way back to the center. Good work. Interlace your hands and just push them away. Good. Bring it back to the center and push a little bit to one side, to the center. Good. To the other side and to the center. Good. And then give it a good shake out. All right. Scoot yourself up. So the key word for scooching yourself up it means using your core muscles to create a little bit of nice straight posture. We have a class that's dedicated solely to posture, so I hope you come back for that kickstart program. 
So as you come out, you're a little bit wider. We will start to warm up the back just gently with a, a couple of motions. It's like a rocking motion. So we're going to go arching and rounding. Yeah. It's not a big movement right now. We're just exploring. Remember, this class is all about exploring what's feeling good. Now, if you're feeling the tightness here in the shoulders when you're rolling back, oh, yeah, that means we have to do that a little bit more often, huh? Good. And how about the tightness in between your shoulder blades? Yeah, let's explore a little bit further. So we're going to inhale, pull those elbows back, good. And exhale, tuck the chin and round your back so that upper back gets a good stretch. Good. Inhale, arch. And exhale, round. Are you noticing my hands are moving? I hope you're noticing that, right? Because as we pull the elbows back, we're strengthening those rhomboids in the backside of us. And as we exhale, we're stretching them out. Very important movement to keep your mobility in your spine. Good. And all the way back to the center. Good job. And to bring it all the way back in. And how about a couple marches? We've loosened up the top of our body. Let's get a little bit looser in the lower part of our bodies. Good. And release. Take one leg up. Bring it up and down as if you're climbing up the steps. Yeah, up and down. Good. You want to work it a little bit more? I thought you did. Then no hands. No hands. Oh, do you feel those core muscles engaging? You do. I know you do. Good. And then release it. How about the other side? Up and down. You're just checking to see what's feeling good. And then if you want to go for it and get a little bit stronger, no hands. Very good. All right. Now let's take that first leg and we're going to go out and in. Remember the hinging joint of the elbow? Yeah. The hip is a hinging joint as well, but guess what? It's also a ball and socket. Yeah, because it rolls around in there. Can you feel that? This is a great way to stem off hip arthritis. Hip arthritis happens when we start to get a little stiff in there and we don't move and things kind of start to cement in there. We don't want that. How about a couple circles the other way, just for good measure? Yeah. See, you can be moving and you're sitting in your chair. We're doing some great movements for those legs. Good. Then the other side, remember our hinge. Are you sitting up nice and tall? I hope so. Good. And then here we go, ball and socket. Around we go. How's it feeling so far? So far, so good? Good. Other direction. Other direction. Good. And then return back to the center. Take it out a little bit wider, so it's going to be a seated goddess pose. That means the toes are out just slightly and the knees are a little bit wider. We're going to explore a little bit more in the opening of our side body as we're opening up our hips here too. Bring one hand in front of you, palms facing up. You're going to take that elbow and place it all the way down on your thigh. See if you can lean down there. If that is not accessible to you today, then you can just take your hand, place it down here, but just a little bit of lean. It's important and I'll tell you why. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the side of our body. We tend to ignore the side bending of our body. It's very, very important, not just for our spine, but also for our breath, right? So as we do this, we're gonna take the hand to the shoulder, the other hand to the shoulder, and we're gonna roll backwards. And you guessed it, that shoulder is a ball and socket like the hip. So we're exploring this range of motion a few more times, good. And then the other way. Very good. And then place that hand on the side of your head. Yeah, and let's just breathe. Breathe into the ribs. Maybe you feel it into your hips. So just breathe. And exhale. How about another breath? And exhale. Good. All the way back to the center. We'll take it to the other side. So palm is up. Remember, you're going to place your elbow on your thigh. And if that's not working, just lean over like this. Good. Other hand to your shoulder and then we'll take it nice and gentle backwards. Now, one side of your body might be different than the other. Most often, the dominant side of your body is a little tighter, so that's kind of normal. If you're feeling that, don't worry, you're normal. Good, go the other way. Is it loosening up a little bit? Yeah, very good. Hand to the head, two breaths here, inhale, and exhale, and the inhale, and the exhale. Good, how does that feel? Let's go nice and tall and straight. All the way up, robot arms. Good, and all the way down. Take it all the way up to the sky if you can. All the way up, lengthen, tractioning the spine. Good, and all the way down. Good, we're gonna do the same sequence, but we're gonna add one more variation. Hand out in front, elbow to the thigh, hand to your shoulder, good. This time we're gonna take it to the head. Yeah, you got it. 
arc it over the head. Oh, you're feeling that, huh? Yeah. And then we're going to round a little bit, and we're going to come up a little bit. Good. And then round, and come up. And one more time, round, and come up. Very good. And release it. To the other side. Palm is up. Placing that elbow on your thigh. Other hand comes to the head. Good. Hooks over. Good. Take a breath. Exhale round. Inhale open. Exhale round. Inhale open. Last time. And open. And then release it. Very good. You can come. Well, I just have to enter the house. Go ahead. Go ahead. And the ranger is here to open up the gates. You can see it really is a working gate. Here it she is. is. <laughs> oh, no, they're going to see the secret behind it. There's a secret behind here. Don't look. Got to make sure it's all closed. I'll Good. Be all right. Thank you. You never know what happens on the ranch, right? Good. Bring your legs all the way back in. And how about a little stomping? Good. Feeling good? and then release it. All right, we're going to come to standing and we're going to explore some movement standing up. We'll do a little bit of balancing and we'll do a little bit of flowing too. So come on up and bring yourself behind the chair. Now, are you standing up tall and straight? Imagine you had a plumb line that goes from the top of your head all the way down to your ankle. Your ear, your shoulder, your hip, your knees, and your ankle all in the same line. Check it out. Do you see that? I hope I'm nice and straight. You're standing up nice and tall? Good. You're checking in. Good. We're going to take one leg out to the side and hold it. Good. Just checking your balance today. Good. And then back. And then the other leg and hold it. Remember, you're leaning a little bit. Good. And then back to the center. And then the same leg. Bring it out. This time, you're going to take your toes pointing out and your heels pointing in. Oh, yeah. Do you feel that little movement in your hip? Yeah. We warmed up the hip a little bit, but standing now and balancing and holding is a whole different thing, right? We're not really working the joint. We're actually creating strength in the muscles that support the hips now. You got that? Good. Come back in. The other side. The leg goes out, and then take the ankle out so the toes are pointing away and the heels pointing in. And I bet you feel it. There's a very interesting muscle called the piriformis, which is a muscle that sometimes gets tight and sciatic and kind of set in right in that kind of lower butt area. We're working that area. Good. And bring it back in. And then a little skiing side to side. Very good. All right, take your chair off to the side of you. And we are going to explore a little bit more with balance. So balance is different every single day. I love having a chair because it really helps us just to be a little bit more confident and actually a little bit of a risk taker. So if you want to be a little risky, feel free to just let go now and then. Take one leg up and then bring it behind you. Good. The toe is down. Good. And now one hand on your hip, which stabilizes your balance. And you're going to lift that back foot up about two inches. It's not very much. Are you feeling a different muscle? Yeah, you're feeling your gluteus muscle, the muscle that powers us up those steps, gets us off the couch. Yeah, we're just creating strength here. And we're balancing. And remember what I said about taking a little risk? Yeah, just let go. See if you can do it. Tap it. Or even bring your hands to your hips and hold it. Holding for strength. Good. You got it. Good. And then release it. Very good. Now take the leg out in front a couple times up and down. Good. That will stretch out that gluteus muscle. All right. Let's take it to the other side. So you're going to bring that outside leg up. Take it behind you so the toe is kind of on the ground and the hand is to the hips. Now, lift up the toes just about two inches. Remember, it's not a lot. I don't want you to do a lot because it might pinch your low back. You won't like that feeling. And we're just feeling the glutes. The glutes should feel like a little bit of a squeeze, like your, your butt muscle is squeezing. And that's important. That creates the strength in the muscle fibers. Are you holding that good? How about the little risky movement? Can you do it? I think you can. Good. Tap. Maybe let go. Maybe let go. How's it working? Very good. And then release it and bring it up and down a couple times. Stretch out that glute. Good. We're going to come into chair pose. Chair pose is one of the best poses for creating strength in the lower part of your body and also great for balance because we're going to do a couple of tricky things. So I want you to hold on to the chair, bend your knees, and keep your back straight as you can. Good. Again, I always like to call this the stool, but it is really the chair. 
You're going to bring one arm out in front. Good. The other arm out in front and hold it. Yeah, so while we're holding for strength, we're going to be doing some arm movement. So I want you to take the arms all the way out to the side and then bring them all the way forward. Let's match it with our breath. So we're going to inhale and we're going to exhale. And we're going to inhale. Good. And exhale. Let's do two more. Inhale and exhale. I hope those thighs are working. And inhale and exhale. Very good. And when you come all the way up and you straighten your legs, I want you to kick your butt to stretch out the front of your thighs. Very good. How's it working so far? So we're creating some nice strength and stability in our lower part of our bodies, right? So we'll move into a traditional yoga pose, which is called Warrior One. Very common pose we do here in, in yoga. The right foot is going to stay where it's at. The left foot will step back so it's slightly angled. Both hands are on the chair and we'll bend that right knee. Just find that nice erect posture. Yeah. You got it? Can you bring one hand to your hip? The other hand to your hip. Good. Hold in that. Good. Bring the arms all the way down to your side, and we're going to lean just a little bit. So as we lean, we're going to bring those arms back, and then we're going to bring them forward. Good. And we're going to lean back, and then forward, creating strength in the core muscles and in your leg muscles. Good. Two more times. Forward and back. Good. You got it. Very good. And then bring your hands to the chair and we'll flip it around. Opposite leg. Remember, we're going to bend that front knee. Always double check when you look down that you see your toes. That means you're not overextending your knee joint, which we never want to do. Good. And then bring one hand to your hip, the other hand to your hip. See how your balance is. Good. If it feels good, then arms are to your side and you're, you're judging. You're judging how much you want to lean. Take the arms back when you lean. Good. And then bring it forward. And then lean and bring it forward. Good. And forward. And one more time. Why not? And lean. And bring it forward. Good. And return back to the chair. Take a leg and shake it. The other leg is going to shake it. Good. And then bring your chair all the way in front of you. We are going to come into our goddess pose. We did it sitting down. We're going to do it standing up. So the feet come a little bit wider. Heels are in. Toes are out and we're going to come up and down just a little bit. Now this one is a very interesting pose. It does a lot of great things. It's lengthening your spine by pulling your, your sit bone, your tailbone basically down towards the earth, right? So it's kind of pulling that lower back. So if you have some lower back issues, this is nice for it. Opening up the hips. You can feel that, right? Up and down a few times, holding on. Good. You can feel it in your thighs, right? As your legs bend and straighten, we're working those quads. They're called your muscles of independence. Keep it going. If you hear people having fun out here, guess what? They are. It's a great place in Southern California. Now, when you take it low, I want you to hold it there. Good. Three, two, one, and all the way up. Very good. And then walk it back together. And how about a march here? Very good. You're doing great work. All right, let's get back into those hips again. This time we're going to add a different motion. So we're going to take one leg out to the side like we did before. This time you're going to pigeon toe your foot so that your heel is out and your toe is in. You should feel a nice kind of uh, strong, solid feeling right here on the side of your thighs. Yeah, that's your gluteus medius and minimus. That stabilizes you and helps you to prevent falls. So if we hold this a little bit longer, we'll get a little stronger. You got that? Good. Bring it back in to the other side, the leg goes out, pigeon toe the foot, so that means toes are in, heels are out. And it's, a, it's not a big movement, it's a subtle movement, but you can feel it all the way into your hip, and those muscles then start to get tight, and they get strong. Good. And then back to the center. And now our skiing, we go side to side. And for those of you who are really skiers, then grab your ski poles and go for it. Very good. You got it. Feeling good on those hips, huh? Good. And then return back to the center. Now, I promised you that we would work a little bit on balance. So we'll work a little bit more on balance, which is always an important thing to practice. Balance goes as we get older. So the more we practice, the better we're going to get. So let's bring our chair off to the side of us. Good. And holding on, we're going to take the outside hand to our hip, which will stabilize us. And the front toe is going to point down. Good. And we're going to bring it up 
two inches. Remember we brought it back two inches, we're bringing it up two inches. This is gonna strengthen the front of our thighs, good. Holding it nice and tall and straight, no slumping here, good. If it feels good, tap the chair and possibly let go. And we'll hold it here for, oh, let's go. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Very good, how does that feel? Give that a good shake, all right. Then to the other side. Hand to your hip, outside leg lifts up two or three inches, not very much. Standing up nice and tall, good. How's it feeling? Tap the chair if you want to take that little risk. It's always good to take risks in life, as long as you feel safe, right? Good, hand to your hip if it's feeling good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good work, everybody, march it out. Big lifts if you want to, big lifts with those knees, good. Good work, we'll come on down to the chair. We'll wrap it up with a beautiful sequence that is very good for our immune system, which is very important these days, as well as our um, mobility of our joints, basically. It's called Eagle Pose. So we're gonna give you a couple of options. We'll start first with the arms here in Cactus Arms, okay? Now we're gonna take the arms together like this, good, and then open, and together, and open, good. Next time they're together, we're gonna take one arm on top of the other, like you're making a crisscross, okay? Now see if you could bring those back of the hands a little bit closer. Now that might be hard for you, otherwise just stay here, okay? This is shoulder mobility, so if they can cross like this and connect, how's that feel? The last option would be a wrap, which means the fingers and the thumbs are wrapping around each other. Good. Once you have that, we'll cross one leg over the other. It doesn't match, matter which one. You can cross at the thigh, you can cross at the ankle. Good. So as you cross, we're going to do a little shoulder lift. So it looks like this. We're going to inhale elbows and shoulders, exhale elbows and shoulders down. Good. Inhale coming up, exhale coming down. Two more, inhale, lift, exhale, lower, and inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. When you're lower, I want you to tuck your chin, take a breath, and then exhale, release. Good, one more time, inhale, and this time on the exhale, squeeze your armpits, squeeze your thighs together, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Everything is gonna be flushed out of your lymph nodes, good. And when you come back up on the inhale, We'll take the arms all the way wide. Good, your eagle wings. And then uncross and let's fly. We had our wings going in the beginning of the class, we'll have our wings going at the end of the class. Good, now we'll take it to the other side. Arms are in cactus. Two little bellows, open and close, good. Now this time we're gonna come and we're gonna cross the other elbow over. Now you might see your mobility might be different here. Can you bring the back of your hands together? If you can, can you do the wrap? Don't push it. Remember, we're exploring, we're exploring, good. And then we'll cross the other leg over. Good, sitting up nice and tall. We'll do that shoulder lift with the elbows, inhaling up, exhaling lower. Good, two more, inhaling up, and then lower. And again, inhaling up, and lower. Keep it low, tuck your chin, two breaths here. So inhale. And then exhale, Whew. let it go. Now with a squeeze, inhale. And then exhale, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Flush all the toxins out of your body, good. And then bring it all the way up, unfurl your eagle wings. Let go of those legs and flap your wings. Very good. And then release it. And how about roll your shoulders? I call this ragdoll. So just start to really feel that your body's looser. Maybe you're a little warmer, maybe you're a little bit more open. Good, take your hands and give them a nice shake. Bring your hands up and shake it. Maybe lift both legs up and shake it. This is called dead bug, so just shake everything all around. Good, shake it, shake it, shake it, you got it. And then release it. Oh, how does it feel? So I hope you enjoyed this chair yoga class today. This is our first one in our Kickstart series. If you like this, the other ones are pretty similar, but again, we focus on a little different things every single class. Make sure you come back for the ones that you find are a little bit more challenging because those will be the ones that you really need 
So I wish you all a beautiful day. Thanks for practicing with me on the ranch. Namaste.